What's up, everybody? It's another day in the Ideal Auto Factory. How are you guys doing? It's good to see you. Hope you're having a blessed one. If you're new here, I just want to say welcome. This channel is all about vinyl wrapping, cars, RC drifting, a bunch of other RC stuff along the way, and it's growing. So I thank you all for the journey that you're taking with me. Today, we are going to just go through a run through of all the little things that I've done to my overdose GOM and also check out the GOM that I already sold, but I had to, you know, do things to because I got it in the shark trade when I traded my shark to get this car. All right, let's get to the video. So where do I begin? I'll begin with the new body. This is a overdose Toyota Aristo body. I got it because I wanted to keep with the overdose theme and also I didn't want to have to install any bumpers and things and this was perfect because it's just a it's just a shell you can paint you don't have to attach bumpers or anything i put hex's headlight tent on there and tail light tent so there's no light buckets and also tent around all the windows that's tail light tent that is on there like how you put on an actual car then i got the forge carbon from evolve motor on the top there and i took one of the little decals that comes with the car and put it back there as we open this up, let's take a look at the new additions. We got dress up washers and oh my gosh, a new chassis deck, new chassis plate, top and lower deck. This is made by RSpec MFG. As you can see, the, the logo is a little different, but when I was talking to him, he said that uh, it was basically when he was experimenting with his design and people said that he should stick with his original so this one's different but it is our spec and i really like this because there's not another i haven't seen another chassis like this there's a golem chassis from our spec but it doesn't look like this so i'm really thankful to have something so unique to go along with this already unique vehicle with the cantilever rear end or IFS, IRS, whatever you want to call it. I also installed dress up washers. Dress up washers everywhere I could, even in the rear. And then I also had these pillow ball or you could call them pillow ball, but they're not. They're they're from Amazon, a little cheap stuff. And then I also installed the belt drive back in there. But as you can see, there's a gear on there, so that's not a spool belt drive. That is a Yokomel gear diff with the spool attached to it. <laughs> the spool little belt drive thing. So that's a little, that's a long story short kind of thing where I basically saw that the CLSD used a, you know, a little cap thing that basically made the belt drive work. So instead of doing the CLSD, I went with my gear diff that I already had, and I took the spool off of the stock spool, the spool belt drive, took that off and bolted it to the side of the, the gear diff. So I was able to do that and then to space it out correctly, instead of buying the, like I said, buying that stuff, I ended up just putting an extra bearing in there. So there's a bearing that acts as a spacer and not a bearing. Three bearings back there so I can offset to one side and as you see one more thing the axle on this side is barely inside the drive cup because you know it's offset so this one's actually in there a lot more versus the other side but other than that it's pretty much the same vehicle I did have to change my servo from lay down to stand up and space up my deck so the deck is spaced up. You can see that spacer right there, the darker red. The darker red right there in the middle of the camera. And then I space it up in the rear. That's so I can keep my clean setup down here. So when you look at it here, it's like, ooh, nice. So I also have that. Gyro's upside down in the middle. I changed the tune on my servo. It's just, it, the list goes on. So that's what happens when you kind of double down on your car. So I've doubled down on this. This is the update. There it is. And I ended up saying, man, I miss my chaser body on there a lot. So I went ahead and was able to mount that as well. So what I did to do that, to make sure they both fit, the rear obviously stayed the same with my magnetic mount light up set. 
And then over in the front, take this one off. Someone's trying to join the party a little too early. Little guy, I see you. Okay. What I did was mounted these two little plates <laughs> because the little hood scoop. <laughs> the hood scoop from here is where the magnets want to sit, but you can't do that because it's not flat. And the little plates came out of here. Just a little separator. These little separators. So that's what's in here to allow this to fit nice. And there it is. So I got the chaser body and the Aristo body. They all work for this car now. And I can do that cool little viral uh, pit stop switch body keep drifting thing. I want to do that. I want to try it out. All right. Now, this is what I'm going to install next. Again, I did take the plunge and got one so there's the bumper i want to put it right here instead of on the bottom and not run foam i like my foam it's just something about it it completes the look so i want this on top and i have to do some things so i'll be back once i install that and then this will be completed and then i'll talk about this one. And here is a stock Overdose Gone V2. It's very glossy, so that's the V2, not the V2 Plus. And it has a rear ESC mount, as well as the motor that the new owner bought from me. That is my tried and true 8.5T Onisiki version one, or the one without the fan, I should say. And it's pretty much stock. This thing will give you a run. That one just has ease of use, I guess, being able to adjust all of the things that I do. The front toe and all of those uh, trailing angle and things. That's the only difference here. Everything else is pretty much the same, but that's why I like this vehicle. That's why I like this drift chassis. Um, because of the simplicity that is a great performance chassis. So, just wanted to show you guys this one. This did originally have that deck on it. And I went and swapped that deck for the stock deck that it came with as well. It came with that deck and the stock version 2 Glossy deck and I swapped it over and so now it's stock ready to be sold and sold <laughs> so put it up for sale already and it was sold I did have a video already like planned of me swapping everything over but I decided not to do that because it was just a little extra and not fun to make and it was kind of boring once you got down to the weeds of it but here it is these two look so different from each other, yes, so similar. Simple over here, complex over here, and both of them can run your door. And I love doing this now. That body's on, nice stance. Take that body off, put this one on. good to go I gotta adjust that rear stance but oh yeah it'll ride gotta adjust that just a little bit lift it up probably put some more magnets back there but yeah. looks good looks good
thank you for watching that one. That was a good one. That was just a quick update on my gum and the chassis that I traded for to get my gum where it's at and then sell the old chassis. Funny enough, I found this out when I was selling mine. The gum version two is less than $300. I think it costs less than a like base model Yokomo now off RC Mart though. But I'm not, I'm not too sure. I think it's either, whatever. Either way, what I'm saying is it's like 50% off at RC Mart. And I just was blown away because I know how good the car is. So I'm like, wow. I wonder what's coming out next or if anything's coming out. It's kind of weird. Whatever. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Definitely going to be doing the uh, gyro one now. I think you guys waited long enough for me to put that information out here. So I'm finally going to give it to you. So stay tuned. <laughs> Thanks for watching.